So if you ask me to evaluate a snowmobile product, it's always gonna come down to the same things. Is it compact? Is it lightweight? And with the limited space we have, is it absolutely useful? And does it come in yellow? All right, so I actually have a new product in my right hand pocket right now that'll allow me to lift four times more than I could otherwise lift on my own. So if this thing does what they say it'll do, it'll come in really handy on the trail. So I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna test it, put it through its paces, and I'll let you know what I think of it. We're gonna do all that in two seconds, so stick around. Now I think if it works as advertised, the product we're going to look at today would be a real godsend to a badly stuck snowmobiler. Okay, now anytime that I post a video about a product for getting your sled unstuck, I always get somebody that posts a comment that, you know, all you really need to do is lift it up, reposition it, and away you go. Now I love it when you guys post your comments, everybody's experience is different, but the fact is it's just not always that easy. So just a quick example, a friend of mine, uh, you know, a couple of years back, uh, he's out with his nephew on his snowmobile, goes through a, a bit of ice into some water. Now he wasn't in a lake or anything, okay? He went into about eight inches of water and mud. Okay, so he wasn't in any danger of drowning, but try getting an old sled out of that. You know, likewise, if you're not paying attention, it's pretty easy to, to hit snow on the side of the trail and kind of get pulled into it. Uh, and if you end up dropping off the trail, sometimes you can get your sled down in a bit of a hole and it's not that easy to pull it out. Now that's not far-fetched. They're completely reasonable examples of something that might happen out on the trail. They're also really good examples of something that this might come in super handy for. Don't let the basic packaging fool you. This is a seriously useful tool. So this is the Nifty Lift. What it is is a really compact block and tackle. So a simple machine like a pulley, the same as a gear or a lever, magnify the amount of work you're able to do with the same amount of force by spreading it over a longer distance. So whenever I do a product-based video, I tend to try and call the manufacturers or email the manufacturers, uh, ask direct questions, get as much information as I can. Because if I'm just looking on the internet, you guys can do that yourself. In this case, the manufacturer is a fellow named uh, Albert Peel. He's a, a Coast Guard veteran. Now it's interesting because even though this product wasn't marketed as a snowmobile product, he came up with it on a snowmobile. You know, he got stuck one night and he thought, boy, if I just had a block and tackle, I could move this thing easily. So he went home and designed one. So coming in around $79, this product is a little bit more expensive than something similar that you might get from a local retailer. So yeah, there are cheaper alternatives, but there's quite a number of really significant differences. So the first one is the size. This is so compact compared to the ones that I was looking at uh, in local stores, uh, the materials that it's made out of. So when I look at sort of a $20 block and tackle system, they're sort of zinc plated metal, really cheap material. Um, this is... Um, stainless steel and aluminum it's a lot better made if it's sitting in your saddlebags for a while it's not going to rust on you so one of the things that makes this product so compact is this really unique parachute cord so even though it's really really thin it's incredibly strong and albert assures me that it'll hold the weight of my snowmobile i kind of have my doubts so we're going to put that to the test all right guys ready for our first test we're going to drag this sled up the incline behind me i'm pretty sure i wouldn't be able to drag this sled up by myself so we've got the nifty lift connected to the front of the sled again with this really thin looking parachute cord that uh, I'm assured will take the weight. Now at this end I've just used a tie down strap um, to secure the other end of the nifty lift to the tree. All right guys so this sled is 500 pounds. I'm not the biggest guy out on the trail uh, and again the other problem here is I have no traction right so I can't really grip in. I have nothing to grab with my other hand. I really can barely move this sled. Wow, actually, you know what? I'm stunned at how hard that was. It's a lot easier to lift the back of the snowmobile than it is to push it or pull it like that. I think there's a couple of reasons for it. Obviously, I'm going uphill. Secondly, the snow is packed down really hard here, and I don't have any traction. You know, I think when I push on the back of the snowmobile, I think the carbides are digging in, and that makes it harder to pull as well. All right, let's try it with the nifty lift. Let's see if we can move this. All right, so that went from pretty much impossible to ridiculously easy. The other thing that I realized while I was doing that test is you could also use this thing to pull your sled up onto your trailer. All right, so dragging the sled with the nifty lift was pretty easy. Let's try lifting it. All right, guys, buddy of mine was nice enough to let me uh, work inside in his shop, so I'm just heading over there now. So we got the, the sled set up under a nice chain fall hoist there. Um, I'm not going to be using the chains on that at all. I'm not going to be using the hoist at all. All I'm going to be doing is hooking onto it. So I do have this big, thick, honking 
dock line, the kind of line that you would normally expect to lift something with. The only thing I'm going to be using that for is just to make a loop. I'm going to tie a bowline in it and put it on the hook on the chain fall so that I have something to attach the uh, nifty lift to. This is actually what I'm going to be using to attach the back of the sled. Right now I've only got the, the one piece with me. That's the only reason that I'm going to use this. So the instructions that come with an nifty lift say uh, that the maximum lift is 600 pounds. It will actually lift more than that, I think. Uh, so according to Albert, the actual mill spec on this parachute cord is 1,700 pounds. So what that means is the military specification, or you know, if you're selling something to the U.S. military, the specification on this cord is 1,700 pounds per strand. So it should easily lift my 500-pound uh, MXZ 670. All right, so there's my bowling. Um, so it's uh, a good knot for putting a loop in a rope. Um, if you're using, you know, even if you want to make a handle in a rope, that's a, that's a great knot. So uh, Albert, don't rate me too hard. It's been a while since I passed basic, basic seamanship, but now I've got a loop on each end. Can hook up to the chain fall and hook the other end to the nifty lift. Okay, so here we go. Now I could have doubled this up or wound it around, but I actually just wanted to make sure that we are testing just the strand of this parachute cord. Um, so I've just looped it around. There's a loop already in the end of it. I've tied a bowl in here and attached it to the shackle. Up here, we actually have four strands of this taking the weight, but down here we only have the one, all right? All right, guys, I admit it, I'm impressed. This product does what they say it's gonna do. I even lifted the front of the snowmobile with it, had absolutely no problems. So this thing took the full weight of my sled twice when I lifted it in two different tests, and a partial weight of the sled when I dragged it, and there is not one broken strand in this line. And you can see if I put that on my finger how thin that is. It's amazing how strong that is. So in my humble opinion, I absolutely think it's worth the money. I think it's going to be a useful tool, uh, and I'll be glad to have it if I ever need it. So I'll let you guys make up your own mind about that. If you've got a few more dollars to spend, there is a deluxe version of this, and it's got a couple of differences. So it comes in a, uh, a hard plastic case, and it's got a locking cam cleat, right? So you can lift your weight up and then lock it off. This one for $79 is probably just as useful for most applications, and you can just tie the other end off if you have to. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful, helpful, educational, or entertaining. And if you did, I hope you'll take a second and mash the heck out of that like button for me. Until next time, I'm Dave Clark. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And part of the reason for that is this parachute cord, which is unbelievably strong. <clears throat> All right, so if you're new to sledge, you're looking for tips and trips, find the amount of work that you can do by spreading that force. <clears throat> okay, pulley is what we call a simple machine. If you're new to sledge, you're looking for trip. <clears throat> so if you're new to sleds, Yeah.